what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is dr hammerstein and this is the test that you guys have been waiting for today we're doing a speed ramp temperature and a gig bench test between two poco x3 flagship killers over here in the first corner here we have the poco x3 gt this is the latest from poco and this one over here does come with the media tech dimensity 1100 and also does come with 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage in the other corner over here we have the poco x3 pro and this one here does come with the snapdragon 860 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage in the first thing that we're going to do here is check out the temperature in the room that we are in it is at about 29.3 and let's check out the phones over here 35.5 35.6 so not much difference at all so what we like to do always at the start is to check out which phone would boot up faster normally Xiaomi phones including the Poco phone do have a very fast boot up let's see over here let's see which one would win do keep in mind that both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% Okay, looks like the X3 Pro is finally done. Okay, with the X3 GT just slightly behind it. And you can see from the calendar here, both of them are taking some time to load up. Over here in the X3 Pro, it does have a just a slight lead over the X3 GT. All right, so these are the apps that we are going to test out. And before we do that, let's check out the temperature over here. 35.7. 35.6 so not much difference at all all right so as we can see here both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% and in terms of brightness both of them are maxed out and both of them are running at 120 hertz also both of these two phones all the apps have been closed before we start this test so yes we are going to start this speed test right now Okay, the X3 GT over here beats the X3 Pro in this first one. Does take some time. Okay, next up here, Pokemon Go. Close battle over here. Alright, the X3 GT with the X3 Pro just right behind it. Next up, YouTube. Okay, GT again. Okay, GT again. Alright, let's see if this big app who would come out on some. So far, the GT is winning. Okay, looks like it's still having a lead over here. And boom, we are done with the X3 GT with the Pro version coming in a little bit later. Okay, next up here, Chrome. Again, GT. Next up, Snapdragon. Let's check out if you can beat. Okay, looks like the X3 GT again. Let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.1, 36 degrees, so very similar. Okay, next up here, YouTube music. Okay, I think it was pretty neck and neck. Next up, settings. Okay, similar again. Let's go to Manchester United. Okay, pretty similar. Okay, let's go to the next one, Premier League. Okay, I think the finally the pro managed to win this small battle. Netflix. Okay, GT back again. Next up, camera app. Okay, I think it's pretty similar on both phones. Let's go to TikTok and before we do that, let's make sure the volumes are all down. Okay, GT here. Next up, Twitter. Okay, pretty similar on both phones. Let's go to the Play Store. 
all right pretty similar on both of these two phones so let's check out the temperatures over here 36.1 36.1 very very similar on both phones so let's check out the ram test over here okay looks like both of them do have a refresh here then let's go to pokemon go again another refresh which is very disappointing go to youtube again a refresh here so as you can see it's very similar in terms of the performance and also the ram management on both of these two phones of course this is with the gaming mode on you can turn it off and maybe that would help a little bit this one seems to be a bit better let's go to twitter okay let's go to manchester united this one is all all right but when it comes to the big apps it does kind of restart so as we can see there ram test very similar on both phones okay so those are the temperatures so let's go on to the next test okay so now we are doing a gpu test over here and i'm using Incheon because for some reason the adobe rush doesn't run on the x3 gt that well so over here both of them are going to export this at 4k at 30 fps and let's see which one would come out on top Okay, no fight over here. Seems like with the X3 GT, this one here clearly wins this round compared to the X3 Pro. And finally, we are done here with the X3 Pro. So next up here, we are going to do a Geekbench test on both of these two phones. And before I do that, I'm going to close up all the apps behind. So as we can see here, only the Geekbench is on on both of these two phones. Temperature wise, let's check it out over here, 36.4, 36.3. So again, very, very similar on both phones. So over here, like I mentioned, 870 here it has to have the MediaTek 1100. Battery wise, this is, has to be on down to still at 100%. Whereas over here on the Pro has gone down to 97. Both of them do have a 5000 mAh battery. This one does have a little bit more juice in it. 5002 if I'm not wrong. Here does have a 5000 mAh battery. So let's run this test. One, two, three, let's go. So I'll see you guys at the halfway mark. okay so we are the halfway mark over here and with the pro version it does have a clear lead over the gt temperature wise let's check it out over here 36.4 here 36.4 as well so i'll see you guys at the end when we do get the results Okay, so we are done here with the X3 Pro and a nice score of 785 and a multi-core score of 2430 in terms of the temperatures over here. It is at about 37.2, still very, very manageable over here. Whereas on the X3 GT over here, as you can see, it is behind compared to the Pro version. And as we finish over here, we get the results. Single core score of 640 and a multi core score of 2006. Pretty interesting here. Better multi core score but a lower single core scores. And let's check out the temperature 38 degrees on the X3 GT over here. So, next up here, we're going to do a compute test. And same thing again, I will check you guys at the end when we do get the results. So, one, two, three, let's go. okay so we are done here with the x3 gt initially it had a it was actually behind the x3 pro at the start but for some reason during the 30 to 40 percent mark it has managed to boost up 
and a nice score here of 4626 and has managed to beat the X3 Pro. Similarly, it has beaten the Realme GT in this test as well. In terms of the temperature, we are getting at about 37.9 degrees over here, which is still pretty decent. And over here, X3 Pro, very much different compared to the X3 GT over here in terms of temperature, 36.9. So we're going to see here the results that we got. So over here, we can see in terms of the test that we have done, it gives me at about six to 700 in terms of the single core score and also multi core score does give me about 2000 plus. So pretty similar on both of these two phones. Of course, when it comes to the compute test over here, a remarkable difference, almost 2000 difference over here in terms of the score. Okay, and a bonus round over here, we'll be doing a 3D mark test over here with Wildlife and we're going to see which one would come out on top. So before we do that, let's check out the temperatures here. 37.4, 37.4. Alright, so one, two, three, let's go. Okay, so this is the scores that we have gotten over here and surprisingly, the X3 GT does give you a better score compared to the X3 Pro. Over here, it doesn't have the name because probably it is still quite new. And in terms of the battery, this has gone down to 94, over here 98% and it's quite surprising seeing that this one here does have a 5160, this one only has a 5000mAh battery. Okay, and I managed to run a slingshot test as well and this is the scores that I would get. So if you guys did find this video helpful and also want to see more of these type of videos, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hamistek. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamistek. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands.